Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be going over my Inktober supplies and yeah, let's just get right into it. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, it was a cloudy day, but this lighting is the best lighting I've ever had, so I'll take it. First we have the High Tech C in the size 0.25. It's really, really small. Uh, like I tried to show you guys and it's still hard to see, like it's really tiny. I really like it because it's easy to get like thin lines. Uh, the only downside is that it skips sometimes. So I don't know if that's mine because I've had this for a while and I remember it stopped working. I don't know how it worked in this video, but it wouldn't work for me for like a year, but I still like it. Next we have a Micron, you know, everybody has Microns. It's nothing new. It's just <laughs> a micron. Uh, I have several sizes, so I might be using that. But I don't know if I'll use it if I'm using water because whenever I try to, it bleeds. And I wait for it to dry, but it doesn't work. Next, we have a micro perm. And it's basically like another micron, but it's not like... A micron I don't know I feel like it's more waterproof than microns because whenever I use it with water it doesn't get everywhere but I don't know I really like this compared to microns so I might buy more if they have more sizes Next, we have the Stablio Sensor. I think that's what it's called, at least. I got it in a sketch box a long time ago, and it's pretty good. I use it. It's not that waterproof, but it works just fine. Um, it's a little thinner than my micro perm. I'm not sure what size it is. Maybe like 0.5 or something. But yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. It's like a backup. Next, we have a brush pen, and this is the Faber-Castell or Faber-Castell, I'm not sure. Um, it's like a navy color. I thought that was kind of cool. I got this also in a sketch box. I mostly got all of these pens and brush pens in a sketch box, if you wanted to know. It's a nice, light, like, navy color, or maybe like a blue-black. I don't know, but I think it's really pretty. I haven't used it yet, but maybe I will. I probably will. I want to use it. Next we have the Kuretake brush pen and this one is in hard. That's why the tip is really short but like it's still springy or bendy you know like a brush pen. I really 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 like this one. It's something I use all the time. It's just, I don't know, it's perfect. I like it. It's so easy to control. I definitely recommend it if you're looking for a good brush pen. Next we have the Kuretake Soft. This brush pen is beautiful but it's hard for me to use because it's so soft. Like, I don't know, it's hard for me to control. I need to practice with it more instead of just using the hard one, but it's still just as beautiful as the hard one and I love it a lot. Super easy to go from thick to thin and that's definitely something I need to practice with. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. Next we have a Sketchbox brush pen. It didn't really have a, like, name. It was just like a brush pen that they gave me, and I think it's from them, and it's not anything special, just a regular brush pen. You just take off the thing, and then you poke the thing back on it so it lets the ink out, and you twist it back on, and you just squeeze it out. Um, I make a little mess in a sec. 
because I'm trying to get all the ink out and it's just not happening. Other than that, it's nothing like crazy. The ink is water soluble. I might use it, I might not. It's not like a super dark black and I got different colors of it, like a blue, a red, and a purple. So I might use those because they're really pretty. And here's another one. It's just a Pentel brush pen in the color Sepia. And you can't really tell here, but it is brown. And it's, I don't know, I, I think it's better quality than the Sketchbox one but it's brown, so I don't know how often I'll use it, but I might. Last, we have Dr. P.H. Martin's Black Star Waterproof India ink in the style matte or in the formula matte. I don't know how you say that. This is my first time using ink, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm optimistic. It's really pretty. And it makes me feel like <laughs> like a painter. I feel like a master. It's really pretty and I hope that I don't make a mess. This year for Inktober, I'll be following my own prompt list. So if you want to join me, you can. And you can have a chance to have one of your pictures in the video by doing hashtag Wisternitober. And I'll just see what you did for the day and plop it in the video for that day. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to record every single day because that's a lot and I have school, but I'll try my best and I'm excited. So I'll see you later. Bye.